Hi, I'm John with Orange Mod Works, and this is going to be a quick update video on the status of the uh, hammer shot kit and the magazine and mag holder. The fire strike kit has already shipped, and the pre orders should have been filled. So uh, let's take a closer look at the upcoming kits that have not been released yet. All right, so uh, this is gonna be more of an update video uh, rather than our product videos where you show installation and features and things. So uh, here's a quick look at the magazine holder. And I only have one right now, so I can't show you guys the stacking feature, but how this works is that the tabs open and the center comes out and you have uh, a little universal mount here. Anything with this circle and the triangular shape locking piece behind it can lock into place and is held into place with this bracket. So you can stack up multiple magazines. And the uh, clip here is Molly compatible and it's a pretty large clip and it will slip through uh, Molly webbing. So if you have tack vests, anything like that, and it also will work just fine with belts. Uh, so how this works is there are tabs that hold the magazines in place and will protect your darts. So if you have like um, nylon mag holders, you know, if you they're floppy, if you pull your magazine out, the darts can get stuck in it. This one, your darts are protected. It will hold all of the magazines pretty firmly, but some of the, um, the older ones, like the uh, 18 rounders, are a little floppier up in the front, so they don't quite lock in as well, as you can see here. But they will fit all of the um, standard and strike magazines relatively securely, you know, with something this heavy, if you shake it, it's probably gonna come flying out. So let me get this out of the way. And next up is the 25 round magazine. And how this works is it holds two rows of shortened darts. And this right here is a, um, it's a mock-up. So the final version we're currently waiting on. And uh, so you deplete the rear row of darts just via normal firing, and then you pull down this tab and it releases the front row of darts. All right, I've uh, grabbed an Alpha Trooper off the wall, and this has, um, I believe, prototype stage two parts, and a stock spring, if I'm not mistaken. So how this works is it inserts just like a regular N-Strike magazine, and is held in place with the mag, uh, the mag catch built into the blaster, like so. And that was the first row. And I hope those darts were showing up on frame. Um, anyway, so now that that's depleted, you simply pull down this tab and it will release, you see those darts that just popped up? It will release the forward row of darts. And resume normal firing. And as you notice that these are the old streamlines with that really heavy solid core, the um, and the elite darts work just fine. I didn't, I couldn't find our stash of uh, chopped down elite darts. I didn't want to sacrifice another, you know, 30 more. So uh, this was just a test with the old streamlines, but both work just fine. And any custom dart that is uh, just under an inch and a half will work. Um, the magazine will fit a one and a half inch dart, but you want to make them a little bit shorter so the uh, silicone tips don't, you know, catch on the side walls and bind up. So uh, that was just a quick look at our magazine, and it works beautifully. Um, you just have to be a little careful while loading. And the um, magazine will ship with a full-sized follower and full-sized spring, so it could be swapped over to shoot um, the normal length darts, both Elite and Original Streamline. And that's an easy swap. Just uh, undo some screws, pop out the old or the uh, small followers, insert the large one, and you can shoot normal darts. So I know this kit has been greatly anticipated since we announced it uh, on Facebook quite a while ago, as per usual. So this is the hammer shot kit. Um, real quick, it will fit in the Rebel version of the hammer shot. I believe it's called the Sweet Revenge. The cylinder will fit, the hammer will not, and I believe the trigger is a little different. 
So uh, to get the cylinder to fit, this piece needs to be modified, and we'll have more information on that at a later time. Um, but for now, this is where we are with the hammer shot kit. The trigger, or, I mean the, uh, excuse me, the hammer has been redesigned to be a little more ergonomic. We've added aggressive texturing up here, and we've changed the angle, we've changed the geometry here to make it much more thumb friendly. It's not going to be digging into your thumb. And this is necessary to allow for one-handed firing with the much more powerful spring that will be included with this kit. But other than that, from the from here down, it's standard um, hammer shot trigger, or excuse me, hammer, with uh, just a few minor modifications, you know, to stiffen it up a bit. This piece is a little flexible, it should hold up very well. And this hammer is incredibly comfortable, guys. I just, I was pretty blown away when we got the samples back. So, the uh, trigger, standard fare, Orange Modworks, Orange Modworks logo. Um, basically the same as the stock trigger, just looks cool. And now the centerpiece of this kit is of course the six round cylinder. So we're looking at uh, strong arm capacity with a one handed hammer shot blaster. So uh, this part was delayed. I've spoken to a few people on Facebook and through the emails explaining what happened with the rear of this piece because we had to cram in a sixth uh, lug here to to rotate the uh, sixth barrel into place. And timing that was a bit tricky since we couldn't change the shell or many of the other parts. We were stuck with what was provided with the blaster. So uh, to get this timed took a little longer than we were expecting. And to top it off, the CNC sample for this was lost. So we had to start over again with this piece. But right now uh, we've strengthened the tips of these lugs, we've shortened everything, it should be reliable, and actually it is reliable, excuse me, we've tested this thoroughly, but right now we're just behind on production of this part. The other uh, hammer shot parts of the kit are all done, springs are all done, we're just waiting on this. It's a big piece, uses a lot of material, pretty labor intensive, so uh, just thanks for your patience and we will get this out as soon as possible. I know many of you are looking forward to it, and it's just an exciting project. So the view from the front, as you can see, there are six cylinders, or six chambers instead of the standard five, and the uh, cylinder is the same size as the original. So there was a lot of um, trouble getting the timing right, since we're fitting a sixth uh, barrel into the space of five. Everything had to be tighter in the back, and we uh, took a lot of time to get that timing just right and to not make those lugs too delicate. Now the hammers, the original has this upturned bit at the end, which is okay if you want to rotate your wrist forward to grab that hammer. With um, you know springs in the eight to 10 kilogram range, putting the tip of your thumb on this and pulling it back is quite painful after a while. And even after just priming it once, you can probably see the indention left on my thumb there. The redesigned hammer is much more ergonomic and this downward slope and radius fits the thumb perfectly. And it's very aggressively textured. And let's focus in on that. This texturing will grip your thumb and you won't be slipping during priming um, when using the much more powerful spring included with the kit. So let's shoot it. Well first uh, I want to demonstrate the cylinder timing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go. And here's how that hammer works. This is just a normal grip, so the last shot. And there you have it. This will be ready to ship in a few weeks. We just gotta catch up on production with the cylinders and we'll be shipping them. Okay, we got a shipment of Fire Strike kits and they have all been sent out to pre-order customers, except for a few um, barrels that were left over for you know replacement parts, things like that. And uh, so I can't show you the plunger tube, 
plunge or the plunger rod trigger and the new um, priming ring, which is probably the centerpiece of that kit. It's just an ergonomic upgrade in all respects. But uh, here we have the barrel and plunger or plunger body. It fits all of the stock um, sort of aesthetic bits of the Fire Strike. Um, those orange highlights, you know, the, the little clips here are included. You just have to be careful with these because, you know, like in the stock version and this version, these clips are just so thin and you want to be careful not to bust them. But this is a performance upgrade, mainly. Most of this is inside of the blaster and concealed. The plunger body has been uh, narrowed towards the front a little bit to relieve pressure during firing and, or relieve pressure of the plunger uh, head slamming into the barrel so we didn't want any more shell damage so we're trying to avoid that with beefed up um, buffers but the inside of the barrel has been tightened forms a great air seal and the back is narrowed so you don't have to worry about uh, darts accidentally vacuum loading into the plunger body and so you'll notice that unlike with the regular fire strike the dart is almost completely inserted into the barrel only the very tip is exposed and so we are uh, we're experiencing excellent FPS increases and better accuracy with this barrel so uh, look forward to that this is just uh, a quick look in case you guys haven't seen these new parts and we are expecting to get on top of the uh, shipping very soon all of these parts should be ready to go within the next uh, we're talking weeks here this is ready but we're not shipping them yet magazine could be looking at a little bit longer I don't have a very good time estimate right now because some crazy stuff has happened with getting this made. But anyway, that's really neither here nor there. Nor there. Uh, look forward to Facebook updates. Um, as I said, this will be coming out sooner rather than later. Firestrike is already shipping. The magazine and holder will be just, just past, they'll be after this one, um, guys. So thanks for your patience. If you have any questions, um, Facebook is a pretty good place to contact us. The CRM system is incredibly backed up, mainly due to old emails being repropagated. So normally, it's very easy to tell which emails need to be replied to, but for some reason, our system just flooded it with thousands of old emails, with, and they have random timestamps. It's been quite uh, the process to get those sorted out. So uh, tech support is still free. I'm checking that regularly so if you have any technical questions um, if you have questions with installation troubleshooting things like that you can always send us uh, an email to tech support and I'll get back to you pretty quick all right so uh, thanks for watching and look forward to uh, more updates coming up soon thanks